Hello, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Messed that up. Um, how's it going? Um, it's going pretty well for me. I am happy that tomorrow is Friday. Happy Halloween, by the way. This is a Halloween stream. We kind of got uh, some lightly creepy music here on Iron Island. And if you recall, here on Iron Island, we have our squad. Let's do a little team recap. We have Karen the Houndoom with... Oh, hello, Brody. You're right. We're almost there. Um, let's see. We have Karen the Houndoom, Fire Fang Roar, Bite, Fire Blast, Pikachu the Vaporeon with finally a water move. Well overdue. We have Breakfast the Togetic that may not be a Togetic for much longer. We'll see. Um, we have Hot to Go, the Kuroa Gunk that we love to see. We have Autumn the Torterra, evolved last episode. Really, really great. Um, I elected to have two draining moves. I like to have them. Um, and then we have Static, the Magneton, that uh, we'll see how much longer we have a Magneton. But for now, we're going to go through Iron Island. And if you don't remember, we are teaming up with Riley here. And we are going to see what Riley's Pokemon is here in just one moment. We're going to run into this uh, Hiker double battle here speed through this so we have riley here as our partner he has this sick little hat uh suit combo going on he's a very cool guy and as you're gonna see he has a lucario and lucario as we've discussed is like the mascot of generation four so this is like a really key team up uh battle we have several of these throughout our playthrough um the two that are mandatory are Cheryl and Riley, and Riley is kind of the key one because he's got that Lucario. Um, let's see. Mm. Master, well, Pikachu has started to use Surf now. Um, you are correct, generally. Let's hit a Fire Blast on this Nose Pass. Oh yeah, Nose Pass isn't part Steel yet. Only Probo Pass is part Steel. Oh well, we're gonna kill it by a lot. Um, Here's hoping this here Graveler does not explode. As you train in Iron Island, that's kind of one of the main things you're going to run into, is that the Gravelers can explode. Um, I'm going to try to bite this Graveler to flinch it so it doesn't hit us with Rollout again. We'll see. Ah, crap. No, excuse me, no such luck. Um, luckily for Lucario, Lucario is part steel type, so it's going to be able to resist that sandstorm that Onyx pulled up on it. Oh, wow, I really thought that, um, Revenge was going to knock it out. Um, please hit the Graveler. Let me try Rock Smash. Oh, you use Quick Attack! Okay, great. <laughs> oh, no. All right, hot to go, not doing great, but we'll, uh, there we go. At least we lowered that defense. Wow, Rhyhorn is so slow, famously slow even. Um, <laughs> you don't like Fire Blast and Roar? Oh, let's see. All right. Oh, whipped up another Sandstorm. That'll take out the Steelix. Perfect. All right. So now, again, as you can see, our team is fully healed. Great spot to train. Mm. So let's keep running around. Um, there are a lot of items in here that we can pick up. You can see one on that ledge over there. I'm going to be checking my dowsing machine as well. Because I don't really remember. Um, the Dusk Ball is great. Um, it's going to catch Pokemon in caves or in the dark, uh, which we love to see. Ah, oh, this is actually great for Karen. Let's knock out uh, these two Steelix. Let's see. And then a perfect little team up. Love to see it. All right. So now we got to go around town here. Um... At a certain point, I will pop on some repels, 
But I do want to get into some fights with these. Oh, no. So care. Oh, no. All right. So everyone dies. But it's fine. Because we're healed again. That is the annoying thing about fighting some of these wild grabblers. Oh, there's a magnet. That could be good for our friend uh, Magneton. Let's see here. Wow, it feels like atypically loud. That's interesting. But I'm going to still try my flinch strats here on Graveler. There we go. We knocked it out outright. Perfecto. I was about to say, let's get Karen to 33. And we'll get breakfast going. Ah, yes. Uh, magnet should be... Oh, not there. All the way down here. And that's going to raise our electric type moves, so that's glorious. Let's see. A lot more double battles to be had here on Iron Island. Um, but how's everybody's day going? My day's going pretty well. Um, actually have had quite a long week at work so far. It's, it's, it's been a tough one. Um, all right, so everybody's going to die. Uh, just breakfast, actually. Onyx stays alive. Uh, we'll go we'll go static because we can hit onyx with this super effective magnet bomb um. <laughs> yeah we call our dogs dog all right let's try this um, we'll get breakfast out in front just because uh, they need the experience um, but yeah, it's been a long week at work. Very, 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 I repeat, very excited about it being Friday tomorrow. It was fun at work today. We did um, Halloween. Um, me and my team of people that I work with, we dressed up as Twister like the game, like the, you know, the, I don't know how else to say it, the game twister. Like, it's not a board game, the ground game <laughs> twister. Ah, yes, breakfast can finally learn ancient power. This will be a really nice move for us. I hate to say it, but I am going to get rid of metronome. Um, yawn is so useful. It's so useful to have sleep. We got to have that fly for the flying stab, and return is just a really powerful normal move. So I'm going to get rid of Metronome. Sorry, folks, if you like Metronome. It was good knowing you. Hmm. All right, so Lucario's out of here. So that can make winning a little tougher. I mean, breakfast is probably going to get knocked out at some point. But no, oh, I thought I was going to take out that Machop. And it is okay if breakfast gets knocked out. Because um, we can bring in another Pokemon of ours. We will not have Riley though, um, which is interesting. Once his Lucario gets knocked out, it's knocked out for good. So we are stuck using our own Pokemon for the rest of this fight. Luckily, we had Autumn sitting here in the back, just ready to take things to the next level. Who is the best, Piggy, Ziggy, or Breakfast? Ooh. Um. I mean, Ziggy's iconic, and Breakfast is just really good. Um, I would say, I would say probably Breakfast of those of those choices. Um, let's get Vaporeon here in the front because Vaporeon can just easily knock out some of these wild wild encounters that we're gonna have. Max Potion is great. This is honestly one of my favorite sections of the entire game this Iron Island Riley section. Um, here we go. This is perfect. Ah, I'll point this out. In Generation 3, Surf would only hit both opponent Pokemon, but starting in Generation 4, Surf is actually going to hit your partner on your side of the field as well, which makes, which makes sense because it's like a big tidal wave. As you can see, Lucario gets hit there. And I hate it, though. <laughs> 
because it really makes Surf a lot worse in double battles, but it does give a little utility to Waterfall um, if you are doing double battles. It's interesting. It makes sense, but Surf gets a little baby nerf here in Generation 4, I'll say. Um, let's see. But of course it doesn't matter because Riley is healing our squad. Ah. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you're probably right. Let's hit this Blizzard. Blizzard, on the other hand, is not like Surf, and we can hit that Golbat for super effective damage. Um, I'm just going to quick attack you. Ah, the double quick attack. How cute. Um, there we go. As you can see, we have some Team Galactic Goons right there, and those are going to be the people that we confront here at the end of Iron Island. Uh, but as you can see, we can't quite get to them yet. Um, so we kind of got to go all the way back around and do some more double battles. Um, but let's just surf these fools. Excuse me. I'll let Vaporeon get up to level 35. Really, I'll try to get the whole squad up to level 35 um, before we leave. I think that'll be a good number to hit. Um, considering that we are able to train endlessly. Um, I like hot to go here. Oh yeah, let's not do that. Not, not at the bow. Golbat, not a great matchup for hot to go. I'm glad Lucario's hitting it. Oh, that's also terrible for Hot to Go, and it kills her. Um, we'll go Static. I know we just dealt with that Earthquake, so hopefully we don't get it, but... Oh. All right, that is fine. That is just fine. Perfect Static. Nice work. Screech. You know, Screech is a move that I always like to have. It can come in handy. But on a Magneton, not really too worried about it. So we're not going to learn Screech. Um, okay. Oh boy. That say, let's keep the train rolling. Um, I'll try Revenging Graveler. Hopefully I don't get destroyed by Wing Attack, and I sure did. So starting with hot to go is not going well whatsoever. Um, we'll return Golbat. There we go. This should work out just fine. Um, it's actually going to evolve into what you call it. It's evolved form at level thirty-seven. Um, so we're not too much longer for Croagunk. It's one of the like uh, later evolving Pokemon in the game. Definitely on our squad. I think it'll be our last Pokemon to evolve. Um, which is a little annoying. Just like that. There we go. Thank you, Lucario. Um, it's true, dude. That Graveler is very silly. Um, I'm going to do a little save here. Because we can get to the Galactic Goons from here. But there's, I think, one or two more double battles that we can get in on. Um, you can kind of see in the background my flannel right there. Um, I'm very excited for my wife and I's Halloween costume. We have a Halloween party on Friday. Um, that'll be super fun. Ooh, got some ace trainers here. Ah, uh, yes, things are getting interesting. There we have Lopany. Level 38, goodness. Lopany is the evolved form of Baneri, and it's a very interesting Pokemon. It's a, it's a normal type, but it's kind of like a pseudo fighting type. It learns a lot of fighting moves, like jump kick right there. All right, we really need Lucario to to hold on here. My goodness, hot to go. You're killing me. You are killing me right now. Um, okay. Oh no. I think I was maybe correct to save seeing as we're probably going to be on our own here for a little while. Um, 
Yeah, there it is. By Lucario. Um, so now it's going to be two on one for a lot of the fight. I will try to prioritize the other person. Um, Curly and not too difficult to deal with. Um, because I'm pretty sure if we take out Curlia, yes, it's just going to be one on one now. And the Quagsire's set up a little bit, um, but it's Amnesia, which again, phys physical special split really coming into play here. If we use Mega Drain, even though it's four times effective, it's not really going to do anything because it has all those special defense buffs. Uh, buffs. But Razor Leaf being the physical grass move in our move set is going to forego those buffs and still be able to do some massive damage to this here Quagsire. Um, can you evolve static whenever you want because all the moves Magneton learns? Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, as soon as we can, probably, I will end up evolving um, Magneton. Mm. Star Raptor. Absolutely horrific matchup for our friend Autumn, but we will try to get a Leech Seed off. Perfect. And set up our next friend for success. Um, don't know if we're going to eat a close combat here or not. Let's see. Yes, we are. So there's close combat. That is a 120 base power fighting type move that Star After learns. I think I've talked about it before. Um... It's going to lose defense and special defense when it is used, um, but it's really, really powerful move. So it's kind of like, it's a really like all out kind of attack. Um, there we go. So Pikachu's up to level 35. And Hippopotas, I don't know if we've seen one yet. This is Hippopotas. It is a ground type Hippo Pokemon. It's very cute. I really like this Pokemon. Um, when Generation 4 came out, this was one of my favorite designs. Um, we're, of course, going to wash it away with a Surf. Um, but it evolves into a very cool Pokemon that we will encounter later. Mm. So Lucario did not help us much there whatsoever. But we were able to get some nice money from that with Star Piece. Hello, Star Piece. Yes, if we go in here, I'm pretty sure there's an item. What if I do this? Okay. Let me just try to hit all the things in there. There should be an item in there. <laughs> Static has fainted, indeed. Um, let's try a revenge. Okay, great. Thank you for the one shot, Lucario. So hot to go could finally get some experience. Um, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Ugh, dang it, man. Oh, it holds on. There you go, hot to go. All right, really needed that for you. There's that. Ooh, the iron plate. Uh, there's a text engraved on the back of the obtained plate. Three beings were born to bind time and space. Ooh. That could be interesting and useful later. We'll see. Um, all right, so there's the Ultra Ball. We still have to fight these fools over here. Let's see what we can do here first. Oh, no. All right, I was hit, so that should do, I guess, not that much. All right, love to see the crit. And there's the wing attack. All right. We'll bring Karen into the fray. Yeah, I think Karen might be our furthest behind at this point. Um, lovely. Oh, all right. One more. I do really enjoy training in Iron Island. It's just, you know. Ugh. Whatever, man. There we go. I'm going to save the game again. Um, I'm not sure how many more double battles there are in here. I'm pretty sure there's... This might be the last one. Um, yes, we'll see what Crow Gunk can do for us. Um, 
I'm not sure if I'll be streaming Saturday or not. I'm getting the feeling that I will be. Um, we should have some time. Ooh, and there's Toxicroak. That is the evolved form of Croagunk. Ah, oh, there, uh, there he is. It is a really cool kind of like toxic ninja frog. I love the little thingies on its hands. Um, love Toxicroak a lot. And again, I've never really used one. So that's why we're going for it this, uh, uh, this round. Hot to go is rivaling Ziggy's death count. You are not wrong about that. Um, hate to see a Metal Claw miss there. Um, all right. Ooh. So Metacham's setting up, presumably to use a, uh, psychic type move on Toxicroak, I would guess. Um, all right, I really need Lucario to come through here. There we go. All right, lower that accuracy, why not? Mm, setting up even more. Too bad it eats a crit. There's Hot to Ghost 35, perfect. Um, I really wanted to train Croagunk first. Because it is probably the most annoying to train. All right, so we will get Torterra going. Are there any more double battles in here, or have we kind of exhausted our supply? Um, let's hit them both while we're at it. There we go. Ah. Let's just use Earthquake. Oh, haven't used that glorious Earthquake yet. Oh wow, that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> I thought it would for sure kill both of them. That's okay. Um, let's see. I know, Hot to, <laughs> Hot to Go does keep dying. I mean, Metacham, I don't know, does Metacham really learn any psychic type moves in its move set? Um, or at least by level up? I don't really know. All right, there we go. Let's get Karen up front. So yeah, again, I'm gonna try to get the whole squad up to level 35 before we leave um, this year establishment. Um, perfect. Gotta double up the Pokemon that can explode. Lovely, oh, not quite. Because Riley is just such a good dude and keeps healing us through thick and thin, baby. Through thick and thin. Um, oh, it learns Zen Headbutt? I actually don't know if I realized that. Um, oh, all right. So just no one gets experience. How cool. Um... Yeah, I did know that I got... I, I guess I did know that I got confusion. I just, I just knew it didn't get... Um, ah, there's that flinch strat I was looking for. Um, I just knew that it didn't get... Don't kill me, and it does. Obviously, some are better suited to fighting the rock and ground types that you find in Iron Island. Um, Alright, this works for Houndoom. Let's roll. Riley even attacked the right one. I knew Riley was a G. Um, sure. I haven't really used Fire Fang yet. It's just kind of like an alternative fi uh, fire type move for us at this point. And that will eventually be Flamethrower when we get there. Um, okay, there we go. Doop, 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 doop. All right, perfect. I don't mind that at all. And there's Fire Fang. It's just like, it's basically like Fire Punch um, because you get Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch, which we are familiar with, but you also get Ice Fang, Thunder Fang, and Fire Fang. Um, in Generation 4, new to Generation 4, and they're very similar moves, 
Um, I think almost the same power. Really, the mostly the difference is the Fang moves can miss, um, but they can also, excuse me, they can also flinch like Bite can, um, which can be extraordinarily useful. And I think that small miss chance is kind of the, um, is how they balance that, really. Pretty much any time the Graveler self-destructs, it's just kind of like a wash. Um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll just try to make sure I double up whatever one Riley is attacking, which I failed this time. There we go. Oh, okay, good, the flinch. Um, all right, so again, when Karen gets to 25, uh, not 25, 35, there it is, um, we'll be in a pretty good spot. I think there's only a couple more of our Pokemon that we'll need to get there um, before we fight those um, galactic goons and get on out of here. Torterra will be very easy. Um, those fights will be a little quicker. Sorry, I'm just keeping the music off as we... Let's thunder the goal bat. Um, keeping the music off as we just kind of speed through some of these grindy battles. Um, uh, perfect. Love to see it. It was nice that I was able to pick up a steel move for Magneton right here um, so we can use it against some of these rock types in Iron Island. Um, how does the music sound? <laughs> Very interesting. All right, we attack different ones. That's not good at all. But Magneton might be more likely to survive a self-destruct. We'll see. Great. Um, Magneton doesn't have a lot of HP, uh, but it is a steel type, which is a really great defensive type, baby. Really great. Pretty much the defensive type, which makes sense when you think about it. All right. Oh, and that's a double miss on the thunder. Oh, it might be affected by the sandstorm a little bit. And now... A spark should do us here. There we go. Um, this is kind of the training episode. Um, we're going to get into some other stuff here in a minute. Because um, really, unfortunately, this is my only move that can affect Steelix. Great. Um, perfect. Because, yeah, really, we just have, we just want to get breakfast and autumn to level 34. And then we can hit up the gym a little bit, so that'll be fun. Um, do, 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 do. We will be doing some leveling up for sure here, as as you can see. Um, we'll return. Wow. That return is not doing a lot to that goal bat. Very interesting. Um, love to see breakfast pop off here. Um, let's do two birds. Sorry, I'm silent for a second. Okay, I thought uh, Autumn was going to get there. All right, so once Autumn hits 35, should be in a battle or two. Um, we will go ahead and continue on our journey. Oh, did I say 34? Sorry. There it is. Th 35 is what I meant. Um, okay, we can't really do anything to this Golbat as a Torterra. So we are going to Leech Seed her... Leech Seed, dude, Leech Seed can just be so useful. Like, especially, Leech Seed is one of those moves that's so great when you have a bad matchup and you have nothing else to do. You're like, okay, I'm gonna pop off this, le this Leech Seed so that way the Pokemon that I switch into has a much safer switch knowing that it's gonna get a few, a uh, little bit of HP back um, when it comes in. I really like doing that. Um, we're gonna open with hot to go because I make I definitely want to train her. I will save the game here. Okay. So 
so now we get to like the end of our time with Riley. Um, Riley's like, I get it now. You're responsible for agitating the Pokemon. I don't care what good reason you may have, but I don't want you bringing any trouble into mine. Uh, we're Team Galactic. We'll take all the Pokemon we want. Isn't that right, partner? You said it, brother. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, they're just some mean guys. We're abducting all the Pokemon from this rusted out Iron Island to share in all the joys and all the sorrows. That is how all the trainers and Pokemon live in Sinnoh. I won't allow anyone to defy that code of ethics. Riley, a man of a man of principle. Come on, SCG. This is one's battle we can't lose. So now we're fighting these goons. And we're gonna smoke them. We're smoking these goons. Um. <laughs> yeah, and you know, in these episodes, I talk I talk a whole lot, so I'm definitely gonna be making some mistakes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna smoke this Glamio. Revenge, unfortunately, won't do much to a Zubat. And now, wow, now that we trained up, these grunts ain't nothing. We're above all of their levels at this point. And this is doing double damage, but Zubat double resists revenge as a poison and flying type. Ah, uh, even Croagunk's not a great matchup for Croagunk, but I do have Mud Bomb, so let's hit it. Ah, oh, we are getting some of this fire music now. Oh, thought I had the one shot there. And it really is fascinating, because obviously I'm having a great time with this game. Okay, good, I didn't want you to hit Croagunk. Um, I'm having a great time with this game, um, but it is just glaringly obvious just how slowly this game runs, man. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Without Ziggy, uh, you're losing your sense of humor, Brody. <laughs> All my jokes were <laughs> say something about Ziggy, but as we see, Ziggy is not here. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, good. I was really hoping that would kill it. They only have two more, I think. Mm -hmm. Three more, rather. Ah, Houndour. Let's see. Let's just... Oopsie. Okay, great. That'll do that. Houndour, very, uh, whatchamacallit, very frail Pokemon. Uh, yes, that'll finally take out Hot to Go. She had a good run there. Ooh, is the next game sh Sword and Shield or Oras? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can say what the next game is yet. I'm excited about it. I know what it is, but I'm not going to say nothing yet. See, Stunky is trying to use this move Faint. I still barely know how that move works. Obviously, there's Faint Attack, which we know from Generation 2. Um, there's that thunder. Goodbye, Golbat. Let's hit another while we're at it. Just for, just for gigs. Um, not quite. You're stalling, Stunky. There we go. Hmm. So we defeat these galactic grunts. My heart is shattered. Oh my gosh. Sorry, buddy. Stop, I said stop, your combination is so sick. The both of you and your Pokemon, let's beat it, partner. You said it, brother. We don't even know what Team Galactic's plan, big plan is anyway, that's funny. Um, Riley says, thanks, you really helped me out. Listen, I have a Pokemon egg here. Would you take it with you? I'll say yes, but we don't have any room in our party. So Riley just kind of waits here for us to come back if we want to take that egg. And that egg is actually an egg that will hatch the Pokemon Riolu, which is what evolves into Lucario. So this is the point of the game that you can get a Lucario, essentially. Really, really good Pokemon. Highly encourage anyone playing the game to use Lucario in their playthrough. Um, but we already have a fighting type, and I thought it would be a little obvious to use the Lucario, so we're not going to use Lucario here. But if you ever play Platinum or Diamond and Pearl, use Lucario. 
great Pokemon. Uh, let's see. <laughs> the day we play Sword and Sealed is when your uh, sense of humor comes back. I get that, Brody. All right. So now, is there anything down here? No. So now we're coming up on a big moment. Um, this is kind of where we get to the exit of Iron Island. Pop up here. Here is the shiny stone. So the shiny stone is the evolution stone that we are going to use to evolve our friend Togetic breakfast as we know them. And as you're gonna see, our friend Togetic is going to evolve into the new generation four Pokemon, Togekiss. Togekiss is very cute. It is very good, um, especially in later gens when it gets a different typing. But I still kind of maintain that I prefer the Togetic design. I just think it's cute. Um, anyway, that's amazing. That is a great uh, buff to the squad. Because Togekiss is really good. Um, and again, I don't know if I've ever used one, if I'm being honest. Um, it has the ability Serene Grace. Boost the likelihood of added effects appearing. So if, a, uh, like Ancient Power, for example, it has the added effect that it can boost all of our stats one stage. Uh, with Serene Grace, it has a little bit higher of a chance that that will happen, which is great. Um, yes, Brody, your boy Breakfast is here. Your boy Breakfast is here. Um, so that's super cool. And we can hop into this little room to pick up this here metal coat, which is the perfect item to have on Iron Island. And with that, we are done with the Iron Island portion of our journey. We can hop down those ledges and we can talk to this here sailor. And he is going to take us back to Kennelief City. Mm. Oh, love this music so much. So great. So wonderful. Um, yeah, breakfast does not learn any new moves once you evolve it into a Togekiss. Um, it has access to some really great moves, but we're going to have to use a heart scale for that. Um, I'm not too worried about it right now. Return Ancient Power Fly, that's gonna do us really well um, for a lot of our playthrough here. Once we get to the Pokemon League, I will probably tweak its moveset a lot. Um, it has a lot of access to some good moves, but we'll just chill for now. And here is the Canalave Gym. Um, we have to fight this guy, but afterwards I'm gonna really show you some cool stuff, man. Um, the Canalave Gym is a, what should you call it, a steel type gym. And we can work our way through here. Um, let's see, hot to go. Uh, Screech is very scary. I'm gonna swap you out, actually. Get Pikachu going here. One Surf should do the trick, and it does. Black Belt Ricky was defeated. Okay, so I love the Cantalave Gym because when you step on these little thingies, ah, it goes up to the next level or goes down to the next level. It really, really was the gym to showcase the new 3D capabilities of the Nintendo DS. I really love this gym for that reason, and there's a lot more cool 3D stuff that we're gonna see as we continue on here. Love the Candlelight Gym, love Candlelight City. It's great. Um, all right, no problem, Brody. No problem, Brody, you do you, man. Um, so we're gonna fight this guy. Um, yeah, we'll stay in. Really trying to get hot to go to evolve in time for the gym. So we should be in pretty good shape. Um, a mud bomb. Oh, and a miss. There we go. 
That's quite effective on a Magnemite. Lovely. Ooh, Nasty Plot. Nasty Plot could be nice. Um, we know Swords Dance. Swords Dance is a move um, that has been in Pokemon since the beginning, but Nasty Plot is new for Generation 4, and it is basically the special attack version of Swords Dance. It's going to raise your special attack by two stages, where Swords Dance raises your attack by two stages. Um... I'm not sure if we want to use this on our Toxicroak. I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, and I'm kind of more into the fighting set. They're like the physical fighting set. Um, so I'm probably, excuse me, going to hold off on Nasty Plot. Not really that interested in Nasty Plot. Oh, wait, no. I messed up. Ugh. No, I like having suck. I like having sucker punch. Sucker punch can be really nice. Um, all right, so we got one more level for Hot to Go to get. We'll go to Karen first. I'm gonna try to fight all the trainers in this gym. Oh, there's my repel. Beep. Oh, that was the wrong way. That wasn't anything. Let's see here. That led nowhere. Oh yeah, here's a new person. Alright. Ah, Karen, perfect. Oh, Firefang Miss, not perfect. Um Oh no. There we go. Yeah, with more Magnemites, we want to stay in with Karen. Really use our uh Fire type stab here. We'll keep battling. I'm gonna try to see. I'm curious to see if a fire fang will knock it out. Um, and it will. Perfect. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and heal this off. I don't want to leave yet. Yes, I did keep our awakenings, because I always thought feel like those come in handy. Okay. Let's keep rolling. Ah, yes. That leads nowhere. Yeah, there aren't a lot of stops and starts here. If I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive this guy's got a scissor. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yes, he does. This will be a one-shot for Karen. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hubris from me. Goodness gracious. I am shocked. I mean, Scizor's got some good defense, but I am shocked that it survived fire attack. Scizor is just such a sick Pokemon. It's so cool. I love it so much. One of my favorites of all time. All right. Let me go back. That is so funny that my Houndoom died to a Scizor. Um, it does have that... Um, what you call it? Dark typing. So bug type moves are going to be neutral against it rather than not very effective as a fire type. Um... But I think that was actually a move we haven't seen yet. Um, so I want to point it out. That was X Scissor. Um, that is a new, really powerful bug type move for Generation 4. I think it has 80 power. And it's like a really, really, really great move to have on your Scizor or your Scyther. Um, really like that move. So I wanted to shout it out. And it did knock us out. Oh, I love this. Whee! You go across, you can see the blower stage in the background there up a whole nother level again Ugh. and you can just see everything it just looks so cool just another level of immersion that they're able to get um with the new hardware um i'm actually gonna prioritize hot to go here a little bit um because i would like to have that evolution 
Alright, let's see. We might be able to get to the gym battle this episode. Yeah, the Magnemites, an easy one shot with Mud Bomb. I, I don't predict we're going to have much trouble with the gym leader. Yeah, I thought that led nowhere. Um, I don't predict we're going to have much trouble with the gym leader. We actually have a pretty good squad for it. Um, have a couple good fighting types. Got a couple good um, ground type moves at our disposal. We'll just go into Pikachu here once again. That Surf is so good against the Steelix. That weak special defense. And then another Steelix. Um, we'll, uh, we'll go into Karen. As long as, yes, I was about to say, as long as we can hit our Fire Blast, we're going to be good to go. Perfect. Um, okay, let's get this music rolling. All right, we go back down for a little spell. Um, in my heart, I feel like I know what this lady has. Um, oh, she's got a couple, actually. We are going to go out, though. The Psychic-type Bronzor is going to destroy us. Ah, perfect switch in. Pat myself on the back for that one. Um... There we go. And another Bronzor. Bronzor. Bronzor, I will say. This is one of those Pokemon that was actually really annoying in Diamond and Pearl because we talked about how there were so few fire types in Diamond and Pearl and they were such a prominently featured steel type Pokemon. Really the only big weakness they have is fire. And there were so few Fire-type Pokemon that Bronzor was actually kind of like a little too powerful. More powerful than it actually is, you know? Very interesting, the way the game design kind of uh, turned out on those. Um, all right. There we go. But another Fire Blast is going to do the trick, baby. All right. Um, should just be a couple more trainers. Ooh, no trainers. Ah, this is great. I love this. Let's do it. All the way up to the top, to the gym leader. This fella, um, I will introduce him in a second. What does he start with? I think Autumn will be a pretty good lead. I'm not even gonna heal. We'll see how I do without healing. Let's see. All right, uh, let's do that again. I love going up all the levels. Woo! All the way to the top. So now we have Byron here. Byron is very interesting because as he says, I see you've defeated my son at the Orberg City Gym. Rourke, the first gym leader that we actually fought in this game, is the son of Byron, the steel type sixth gym leader in diamond pearl and platinum it's very cool i love this little uh you know family interaction that they decided to give these characters it always uh adds another layer and i love byron he's one of my favorite gym leaders in this gen um yeah an earthquake on this magneton is definitely going to do the trick so cool this is Byron's signature move. This is Flash Cannon. It is a strong, special Steel-type move. Um, and it's a perfect move for a Magneton. Um, and we are definitely going to teach our Magneton Flash Cannon as soon as we can. Um, I don't know if it learns it by level up. I'm actually gonna double check on that. Um, for Steelix, we're gonna go into Pikachu. Like I said, we have some really good matchups here for Byron. Um, he just has three Pokemon. Um, we have the Magneton, the Steelix, and we're going to see um, he has a new Gen 4 Pokemon as his ace. Um, 
but we should be able to make some pretty quick work of it. Ah, Aurora Beam, very nice. Um, this is interesting. Aurora Beam is obviously going to be a far more consistent move than Blizzard, uh, but it is only 65 power. Um, I kind of like having some dark coverage here on Vaporeon, and at the end of the day, Aurora Beam's never gonna be the ice type move that we keep even if we decide we don't want to use Blizzard. So I'm going to stick with Blizzard over Aurora Beam. Let's give up on Aurora Beam. And here's Bastiodon. We have seen Shieldon in um, our playthrough a little bit earlier. Bastiodon is going to be the evolved form of it, and as you're going to see, it's this really cool... Oh, it's such a cool kind of like castle fortress triceratops looking thing really really cool pokemon unfortunately for bastiodon it has a lot of weaknesses it is a rock and steel type so it is quad weak to a couple of types it's quad weak to ground it's also quad weak to fighting um a lot of times if you're running a star raptor you are just going to be able to easily just one-shot this thing with close combat. But it's still cool. I still like this Pokemon a lot. And we're actually going to have a bit more of an interesting time because I elected to go with Croagunk here. Um, just because I was being cheeky. Um, Mud Bomb's going to be good because as you can see, it's really buffing its defense. Um, and we can use this special move, uh, Mud Bomb. Even though it's not stab, it's still doing some pretty good damage because, again, it's also quad effective. Um, let's see if it misses us here. It does not! Stone Edge is a new, extremely powerful rock-type move. Luckily for us, we resist it, um, but it is 120 power, and it, I think, has a high critical hit ratio. It can be a devastating attack. And here's the full restore. All right, buddy. You're gonna make me do this whole thing again. Oh no! Alright, let's see. Oh, if you're just gonna taunt me. Oh, come on. Wow, am I exploiting another glitch? Is Croagunk a god Pokemon in this game? No. But Bastiodon goes down. Byron can be pretty easy if you have the right matchups, and we do. Ah, I was hoping that would happen. Um, we take down the ace Pokemon, and hot to go is about to evolve, so this is really cool. My sturdy Pokemon defeated, that's right, dude. And as I said, hot to go is evolving. Yes! Yes! Toxicroak is here! All right, you were strong enough to take down my prize team of Pokemon in recognition of that power. I give you this, the Mine Badge. And there it is, we were just in a mine. The Iron Mine of Iron Island. Um, all right, so this lets us use Strength, which we're going to need to do. That is kind of annoying, we'll have to teach something Strength. I'm not stoked about that. Um, that is a huge drawback of this game, is that you have to use a lot of HMs. And here, he does give us Flash Cannon, which is great. Um, if it hits, it may also lower the target's special defense. Um, I am going to check um, if we need to teach Static that right now, or if it's going to learn it later. Um, also, if we look at our squad here, Static is the last Pokemon that needs to evolve. Magneton gets a new evolution in Generation 4, and we will see it pretty soon but just not quite this episode. And as a matter of fact, I am going to pause right here for the night, um, and we're going to call this episode. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I have really, really enjoyed going through Iron Island into the Byron fight. Really one of my favorite sections of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. I really, really enjoy um, this part of this game. It's really great. 
Um, <laughs> yes, you made it just in time for me to sign off, Brody. <laughs> um, but thank you again for being here, thinking about streaming Saturday. And I do want to point out, and I'm going to look directly at the camera for this. I am planning something for when I hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because the thing that I have planned, I'm very excited about. It's something that I haven't really seen done before. It's not a game. It's a surprise. It's just a surprise. I have a surprise for when we hit a thousand YouTube subscribers. So please subscribe. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, bye. With that, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a good uh, Friday. Hopefully it goes well for you. And I will see you all soon. Peace, kids.